On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, we are here in my 2014 BMW i8 that I just bought cheap from Rich Rebuilds. And of course, I drove it 1,600 miles home. And right now, we are headed straight to the Car Ninjas after one quick part stop. And we're gonna see what he has to say about this car and what he thinks we need to fix. What is going on guys? I am Watch J Ergo and like I said today we are here with the Car Ninja and this isn't the first I you've worked on, huh? Nope. All right, well have you done an oil change on one? No. Neither have I. I have no idea what. It's easy. I've, oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. I was like, I don't know what we're getting into. It looks like we might have to take the whole back end apart. It's easy. Okay. It's well, I've done cool. them on i3s though. Okay. And that's super easy. Same, same, basically, I think the same range extender. So, uh, like I said, we are here with the IA after its 1600 mile trip, it's definitely due for an oil change. And on screen, it shows that it needs all of its services, literally all of them. And what's funny is I set the date on the car and it went back in time. It did say it needed service November last year. Now it says it needs service like four years ago. <laughs> so, uh, I think that's kind of our goal for the day. I grabbed an oil filter from our Riley's. We've got our Wix filter here. Apparently this thing will take any oil according to their fluid specs. Like, I have yeah. pretty much whatever you need. So. Sweet. Well, let's run through this thing and find all of its problems. All right. So, don't hold back. <laughs> we, need, we need the world to know. Yeah. <laughs> well, coming from Boston, the only thing is either corrosion or, or rust, you know? I, I agree. I Ready? Hope. Yeah. Let's do it. It does look cool on the left. You guys know it has lights right here in the door to make sure you can see where your feet are landing outside. Looks like we have active shutters here in the grill too. That's also kind of cool. You got good brakes in the back. Even better brakes in the front. Not, a, not even a lip. No. Wow. Almost brand new tires. I guess it does only have 30,000 miles. It's got snow tires though. These are Blizzaks, yes. So they do horrible when it's hot. Ah, I, I should probably get rid of them. Well, let's see if we can find any surprises. I mean, obviously you're missing a couple of plastics here and there. Yep, I see the little um, body trays. It is, it has that corrosion on the steering rack. Oh yeah, but just a kind of galvanic yeah, corrosion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously there is some rust on the bolts, which is no big deal. Um, this one has been soaked, so maybe they, I aligned it Okay. pretty recently. The bushings are good. This one looks good. So far so good here, right? Yeah, okay. looks pretty cool to me. I'm just glad this is all nice bare aluminum and not rusted old metal. And then you got the uh, carbon fiber right here. Oh, yeah. This is so cool. That is pretty cool. No problem here. That's your filter and that's your oil drain. Oh, wow. So I that is, is super easy. To I'm do. very surprised the filter is facing down on a BMW. Yes. Yep. So make sure you drain this so we won't make a mess. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Um, zero corrosion, man. This is freaking awesome. Wow. People were already commenting saying this thing was going to be a rusted out mess. Nope. But most of the car is carbon. You can actually see the entire. You can see some of yes. the carbon fiber up inside there. It is nice. Same with the back. I mean, it had to be like garage kept, you know? I, you know, it was sitting outside. It's, it is, I think this was well, sitting outside. It was selling it, but. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, okay, we, and then when you change the oil, uh -huh. stay away from orange cables. Yeah, absolutely. The high voltage stuff. Yes. yes. That makes sense. So Other than that, man, you got a great, great deal. I think it looks really good. So this was a rear end collision, and I think it was hit here or something. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, you can see some welding maybe. Nope, that's that, factory. Is it? Yep. Wow, why does it all look so clean? It all looks very clean. It's got the small turbocharger. A yeah, very small turbo. Very cute. We finally found our rust, too, on that exhaust clamp. Ah, oh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Is this muffler? Yeah, factor? aftermarket exhaust too. And uh, it actually sounds really cool. What is this? What What on earth is that? It has a O2 sensor in it. Huh. Uh, is that maybe part question. of the factory exhaust, right? 
good question, but... That is weird. It's clean, though. It looks brand new. Hmm. It is BMW. I'm very confused by that. So I couldn't tell you, to be honest. Here's our cat, and the entire exhaust system is just this little tube right yes. here at this point with a muffler. So, really weird, whatever that old thing is. And then you got the engine right there, you got glass like like my Ferrari, you know? Yeah. But no, it's it's clean. I mean, it's super clean. I like it. Also, this CV looks brand new. Uh, the, uh, I, maybe not, maybe not. No, no. It's just really clean. Very clean. Here's that Vorstner carbon. I think this piece is like, this piece is probably $6,000. Probably. Uh, really the nice. only thing you're missing is this cover right here. Authenticity. Oh, there's a back cover? Yes. I right see. Right here. Yeah. Um, Even the clips are missing. Oh, all the clips are missing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not seeing any frame damage or anything, you know? You know, I, one whole wheel was missing, I think, in the collision. But he built this back very well. I couldn't tell you, man. I'm trying to see. That axle has the barcode. They both have the barcode. They're yes. both in really good shape. Um, this motor mount looks shiny. Very shiny. Right here. Brand new motor mount, it looks like, right there. So I cannot see any wrinkle. I'm... Or any... Maybe the accident was just cosmetic junk. Yeah. Oh, they have your, uh, the flapper for the exhaust. Ah, yeah, but it's completely gone. <laughs> it's gone, yeah. <laughs> it's probably still opening and closing, too. Mm -hmm. I yeah. bet it still works. For the check engine light. Yep, yep. And then this is your wow, sway bar. Wow, heat shield the sway bar on this thing. Yes. Crazy. Huh. So I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I'm a fan. Yeah, me I, too. I was actually expecting it to be worse, and instead it's kind of pristine under here. Well more power to who's gonna buy it. Yeah, absolutely. Because now you can sell it with confidence and say, hey. This thing's in great shape. If you, guys, if you guys look at the back end, I mean, there's nothing wrong. Nothing is out of alignment. There is no wrinkles. I mean, it has to have like a scratch or a wrinkle or there's something. Oh, you know what? There's an arrow piece right here that is missing on the other side, which makes me think it was the driver's side. It's still. Yeah. Oh, you're doing a gap check? Yeah. All right, this is the real test, guys. That two and a half fingers, three fingers? Yep, two and a half. Two and a half. Yep. Wow. It's super straight. Everything fits well. I mean, there's nothing. That, that little piece is held on by a push fastener, and the push fastener's in there, so maybe it just got ripped off. Probably, yeah, but there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, cool. So I'm gonna let you do your oil change. Yeah, and then let's scan it and see Yes, if do you, do you have your scanner? Or I, do you I, I did. I, just, I brought mine just in case. The one issue that pops up all the time is rear camera malfunction, uh -huh. but it always works. Maybe it needs to be calibrated. I think it is an ADAS calibration because right up here, it shows like a weird pattern. These doors can stay up, right? It's not going to hit me in the head? No, it'll stay up. It does need hood uh, door struts though. If you look, if you go up, they'll fall back down. So. Well, if it falls in my head, it might knock some sense into me. I don't know. <laughs> Or me, but I wouldn't buy things like this. Yeah. I said, you can sell it to Tyler. Uh, yeah, he sold all his cars. He needs some new cars. Yeah. You've never seen the display key? No. So I, I found out it's actually called display key and not flex key. But uh, yeah, that thing's pretty cool. Uh, if you hit the power button, it shows you everything about the car and it shows you that the car needs serviced. <laughs> yeah, the one I worked on had just a regular square key. Ah, yeah, I have that one too. All right, here we go. Let's see what this thing has to say. The one thing I don't like about these is like get in and out. It is it is a process getting in and out. And me and you were skinny too, so. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine if you have to move the seat every time you get in. Yeah. Listen to all the bings and bongs. Bing bong city in here. All right, so apparently I messed up Johnny. He was resetting the service interval. Uh, and I, you do that by just holding for? Yeah. And then brake fluid flush, push okay. and hold. Okay. And then reset. I mean, obviously you can do it with a scanner too, you know? Oh wow, that is really cool. It actually gives you a counter, mm -hmm. reset in progress. Cool. Now it needs done in 2025. Engine oil never done in 6,000 miles. <laughs> I think it's been done, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay. People yeah. think they need like a fancy scanner to reset it, so... Ah, how cool of being But you don't. They left you with a simple button. Yep. Nice. 
Did this one come with a charger at all? It did not come with a charger, as far as I know. Uh, but I have a charger in my garage. Does it use a Tesla charger? I don't know. It, no, it uses J1722 or whatever. I always get the numbers mixed up, but that's what it is. Okay. Um, so it's, the, it's the normal charger that everybody has. Okay. Um, let me go vehicle info. Look at this. Status. This None of this is as bad as I thought. We had a bunch of intermittent codes, the 10 intermittent codes, and it's like request torque crankshaft transmission, transmitter, and these are all intermittent faults. And then of course a battery issue here, standby current violation. What's with the uh, camera though? What is with the camera? Okay, so let's go look. DSC invalid, all of these look like we can just reset them. Yeah. Ooh, we have a marker light that's out, but those are all wrapped over. Here we go. Reversing camera calibration or adjustment error detected. Ah, how do you do the ADAS calibration on it? See. All right. My, my guess was right though. Yeah, I, I mean, I saw the little black dot on it too and I was like, it must be at the wrong angle. I bet the angle's wrong by a little bit. Is it the all around All around view? vision camera. Check of the programming. Mm, oh. This to this. There you go. Wait, that's probably the front camera. Oh yeah, that's the front camera. You sure? Yep, because it warns me if a, ca if a car is too close in front of the car. I mean, if anything, we can use uh, ISTA to do it. It's no big deal, but... Okay. I figured you had to have like targets or something, you know? Um, like, okay. No. Okay. You shouldn't. Not, I know. Not for BMW. Okay, on some cars, you have to like have that whole big arm system, you know, that it has to look at and identify. Not the BMW. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We have no more service indicators and hopefully, hopefully, if we look at the key now, slide up, service requirement info, service overdue. So the key should update at some point here. Yeah. Ooh, showroom mode, that's kind of cool. I wonder <laughs> what that does. Okay, so we're pulling off that custom clear engine cover. Oh wow, we have to unbolt all this. Yes. Well, that's easy. They're actually thumb screws. Huh. Well, go BMW, you can use a drill and go fast. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wasn't going to either. I figured we're almost done. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let you to it. Yeah, this looks like a fun, uh, interesting learning experience. Yeah, but it's easy. Okay. okay. Weird. I, I think it's just slide. I don't see anything. Well, else. just straight forward. There we go. Man, that custom window is ultra heavy. Ultra heavy. Okay, uh, oil yeah. cap right there. I never seen one looking like a carbon fiber. Oh, this is all custom made. It was all hand laid, and there's like two of these in the world that have this custom carbon. He overlaid the. Wow. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, have at it. I'm gonna throw it up in the air and get the oil out of it. Holly, well, if you need me, but you should be fine. <laughs> Will do. We did clear the codes. There is no calibration for the rear camera that we could find. So it seems like the rear camera is just gonna have to live and there's no more error on the dash for that. And all the other errors, we'll just see what comes back over time because they all look like the battery was unhooked for a while. And when I got the car, the date and time wasn't set, which makes me think the battery was unhooked for a while. So that's where we're at on the codes. And of course, we're gonna change the oil because we did clear all the service indicators there and then we should be good to go. Uh, this car is way better than I ever expected. Minus me still needing to fix the windshield again, I've got more to fix and put the front uh, diffuser back in. So the oil coming out of the i3 looked great. Let me give, give you guys a drop. Sure, it's a little dark, but it's nice and clean. And uh, all that's left now is draining down the filter. The filter does have its own drain, and it comes with a brand new drain plug for the filter, the, right there. So I wondered why this filter was $20. It turns out it comes with this, it comes with a new crush washer, and of course it comes with the new O-ring for the filter housing. So. Let's pop that thing out of there. And first, it looks like we need to go in here with uh, a 10 mil or something and pull out that drain and then we should be good to go. Hopefully the engine keeps running on this thing until it's all the way up to temp. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. It's at 118 degrees right now. And then I guess we'll hit start measurement and we'll see what happens. I gotta be honest, I didn't check it at all. I just trusted Rich, but it was fine. It, it came home. Well, now I'm just sitting around waiting on this engine to get hot. It's currently at Let's take a look at the steering wheel. Luckily we can see 161 degrees and it is not allowing me to measure the engine oil yet. But it just kicked the front fan on so now it's probably going to cool off which is a little unfortunate. 
Oh, if you're cold in the winter, this is the place to be. Nice, warm, 100 degree air probably. Feels great coming out of that big center vent. Yep, the active shutters and the grill open up. Everything works on this car. Wild. Hey, this is great news. It came up, we've got start measurement, and the car is actually only at 170 degrees there, 172. That, that is time consuming. I thought it was just gonna be like, bling, here's your engine oil level, but no. It counts all the way up to 100%. Well, here in about five minutes, apparently, I'll know if our engine oil level's good or uh, if we need to add a little bit more. But I think we're good. We're right at the spec, 4.25 litres, of course. You gotta spell it like that and say it like that for uh, BMWs here. But that's exactly what it calls for on an oil change. I think we're good, 63%. The car has to tell us if we're good or not. It's funny, it does idle up during this process and it seems like it keeps idling up just a little bit more. You know what? I bet this thing just says okay. Ah, it does just say okay, but there's a bar graph. We're good, I'm gonna leave it just like that. I don't need to hit that max exactly, we'll just check it once a month. Well, there you have it, the IE is serviced. It is, and you, it's good. It's better it's than not as bad. Way better than I thought. I the, was the, the comments have been like, there's no way it's put together right, it's, but it's, it, it is. It beat my expectations, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Anyway. I it's good. Thank you, Johnny. You're welcome. German Motor Works, yep. as always, here in Wichita. If you need your BMW worked on, even your hybrid BMW, he might work on that. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchcherry.com for cool shirts just like this. And please, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. Quit hanging on my broken... <laughs> the, the end broke off years ago. It, you can see all the little standoffs broke. There's some more plastic. Super glue. I could super glue it or I could just get a new part, but yeah, I just I'm just very careful with it. Nice, nice. <laughs> This one is pretty fast. Yeah, I, I liked it. Love that thing Well, this is interesting Fancy running into the Oklahoma guys here <laughs> Hey, can you park that thing at all? Look now. Hey, look at that. You can go all the way over the curb. All right, stop I don't want to hit that flat yeah, hit sign. Don't hit the sign <laughs> That is a boat. Look, this boat. Oh! Yeah, buddy. <laughs>